Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be covering dividing fractions, and specifically a fraction by a whole number. So take a look at the four problems on your screen. You have a fraction to start with, and then it's divided by a whole number. And at the top of your screen, we have three words, keep, switch, and flip. Those are the steps we're going to take in order to get to the correct answer. So keep that in mind as we work through these four problems. Feel free to write these out with me. And if at any point you feel confident enough to try some on your own, press pause, finish the remaining problems, and when you're ready, press play to check your work with mine. Let's hop right in to number one. So we have one third divided by four. Let's take a look at our steps up here. The first step is keep. So we're going to keep this first fraction as is, one third. Then we switch. We need to switch this division sign to the opposite, the opposite of division, which is multiplication. And then we have flip. And we're going to flip this second fraction. But here we have a whole number. So how do we flip a whole number? Well, we need to think about how we would write 4. So we have a numerator and a denominator. And whenever we want to create a fraction out of a whole number, we just put that whole number over 1. So now we need to flip it. The 4 needs to go to the denominator and the 1 as the numerator. So we actually get 1 fourth as the flipped version of 4. So now our problem's set up. So we can multiply straight across. 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 4 is 12. Now this fraction can't be simplified. The greatest common factor between 1 and 12 is 1. So we are done. 1 twelfth. So let's take a look at number two. One half divided by eight. So we keep, switch, and then we need to flip eight over one. So it's actually one eighth. Now we can go straight across. One times one is one. Two times eight is 16. The greatest common factor between one and 16 is one. So we are simplified and done, 1 16th. Number three, we have 2 eighths divided by five. So let's keep, switch, and flip. Now our problem's set up so we can multiply straight across. Two times one is two, eight times five is 40. Now here we have two fortieths, and the greatest common factor is two between two and 40. We can divide both two and 40 by two to break down or simplify this fraction. So let's divide both by two, and we end up with two divided by two is one, 40 divided, 40 divided by two is 20. So we get one twentieth as our simplified correct answer there. Number four, five sixth, keep, switch, and then we need to flip to one third, and we're good to multiply straight across now. Five times one is five, six times three is 18. The greatest common factor between five and 18 is one, so there there isn't any number that we can divide both the top and bottom by to break this down any further. The answer is in simplest form already, so 5 eighteenths. So dividing fractions, a fraction by a whole number. Keep, switch, flip, multiply straight across, and then take a look at your answer. Are you able to simplify? If so, simplify, and if not, you're already done. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.